All right, now at 11, we are learning new information in a tragic shooting involving actor Alec Baldwin on a movie set in New Mexico. I want to welcome our viewers to CBS 2 News at 11 and streaming on CBS in Los Angeles. I'm DeMarco Morgan. Our top story, one person was killed and another injured when Baldwin fired a prop gun on set. CBS 2's Tina Patel joins us now with the latest on this story and what we are learning. Tina, good morning. Well, unfortunately, such a tragedy and still so many questions. The website IndieWire.com now quoting an email that the prop thrust Union IATSE Local 44 sent to its members. It says it was indeed a live round, not a blank, that was in that gun fired by Alec Baldwin. Also, that their production's prop master was not part of Local 44, that the crew was from New Mexico. We will bring you more details on those reports as we get them. In the meantime, friends of the cinematographer who was killed say they do want answers, and they also want to share what an amazing person she was. Earlier this week, Helena Hutchins posted this video on Instagram, saying the perk of shooting a Western is getting to ride horses on your day off. Hutchins had been working as the director of photography for the movie Rust, filming in New Mexico. Gustavo Sampaio, who worked on a short film with Hutchins in 2017, says it was a big break for her. She really was a rising star. I was uh, very impressed and proud of her. Um, I, I often thought that I wanted to work with her again. Um, but, uh, you know, she was growing so fast and she's doing these big films now. The 42-year-old who had gotten into film after a career as a journalist in the Ukraine stood out in a traditionally male-dominated field. Zampayo says people enjoyed working with her. You know, she uh, was a, a, a cheerleader of everybody who was around her. Uh, and she... Uh, always had that energy. She was very positive. She was very happy. Investigators say Hutchins was killed yesterday when actor Alec Baldwin fired a prop firearm with blanks on set. The film's director, Joel Souza, was also injured but is now out of the hospital. Baldwin tweeted this morning, there are no words to convey my shock and sadness. He called Hutchins a deeply admired colleague and said he's fully cooperating with police. He went on to say he's in touch with Hutchins' husband, offering support to him and his family. Sampaio choked up when he thought of the young son Hutchins leaves behind. She was just uh, very kind. That's the, the main, main word that I think of when I think of Helena, uh, both on set and off. Just lost too soon. Now, production on the film has been halted while investigators continue to interview witnesses. At this point, no one is facing any charges. And Tina, yeah, the director that you spoke to said he worked with Hutchins on a film and they used a gun. Yeah, and he said that it was completely fake. They didn't use any gunpowder, no blanks. They did everything in post. And he wishes that had been the case with this film, but he says he wants to wait and see what this investigation uncovers before he talks about what might need to change in Hollywood so nothing like this happens again. Yeah, but still a lot of questions this morning. All right, Tina, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Well, meantime, the family of Brandon Lee, who was also killed by a gun on a film set, released this message on social media. Our hearts go out to the family of Helena Hutchins and to Joel Souza and all of those involved in the incident on Rust. No one should ever be killed by a gun on a film set, period. The International Cinematographers Guild released this statement saying, quote, we support a full investigation into this tragic event. This is a terrible loss and we mourn the passing of a member of our Gills family. And this morning, actress Frances Fisher, who is also working on the film, posted a photo of herself in Hutchins saying, quote, I loved watching you work, uh, your intense focus and your vibrant command of the room. She went on to talk about how Hutchins was one of the few female directors of photography.